So I recently had the pleasure of obtaining some uh, new Dow Prop Cyclones, uh, specifically the T5145C Pro Props. Um, as you guys know, Dow Prop has a program now where they allow a small batch of these to be released um, and sold to the public for reduced price in exchange for responses and feedback because they're trying to make their products better. They're trying to go ahead and address, you know, what it is we're looking for as pilots in these prop offerings. So I had the opportunity to fly these for a handful of packs the other day and have some thoughts and well, let's definitely talk about those thoughts. So the first is, just taking a look here, and I didn't open this pack yet, so what you're looking at are my spent props from the other day. So what we've got here is, in a lot of ways, a pretty typical Dow poly prop. Um, this is, you know, some sort of poly blend here, very similar to their past offerings. Um, it's a little bit different too, in that one of the things, you know, just being totally transparent here, one of the things that, that had me move away from Dow Prop were the little winglets that they had on the end here. Um, those winglets would be the first thing to get damaged, the prop would become unbalanced, and it would start producing a lot of vibrations. And so there are some other prop offerings out there that don't have those sort of issues, they don't have these sort of features. And so, I ended up kind of gravitating somewhere else for a little while and just kind of settling in and getting getting to know the prop and how it responded. Now, Dow props also, at the time that, that I had moved away from them, had gone ahead and become quite... <sighs> I was playing with some other motors, specifically like 2207 motors, both, you know, mid and high KV, and the prop didn't feel like it had a very consistent throttle response across the throttle band. Now, I'm going to tell you that these props are vastly different from those past offerings and that from a, a field perspective alone, they, they got a lot of punch, but they've got a lot of even punch. So, in the lower throttle band, you know, they, they respond but they respond predictably, so they're not super punchy. However, as you wind that throttle up and take this thing up through the throttle band, it's got that high end, that, that high KV, um, that speed, that punch you're looking for, but it's really good at being consistent across the full throttle band. Now, from a durability standpoint, I also rolled the drone across the, the ground a couple times, and there are some things I noticed. The first of which, if you look at this prop geometry here, this prop shape, let's see if I can get this in focus. If you look at the geometry, you know, it, we're seeing a pretty common theme here with, with these hubs in that the prop is much more aggressive near the hub and tapers out down to the end of the, of the prop. Now being the case, at the ends of the props, these have a little bit of flex, okay? But you can see the way this, this flexes pretty well. It also stops the flex towards the center of the prop, you know, as you get to the thicker part of the edge. And I noticed that after bending one of these pretty good and trying to bend it back, it was a little hard to get the geometry just right, at least for where this had bent. I want to say the prop had bent closer to the hub, which probably deformed things just a little bit. But the second thing I noticed you know, old Dow props would get that kind of white, what do, what do you want to call it? Where you could see that the plastic was breaking down when you bent it. And these, even after going through a really harsh bend and coming back, you can see they're not discoloring. I was able to bend those props back, and yes, I had some vibration from, you know, the prop being deformed and losing some chunks of plastic here and there. But for the most part, the prop stayed in pretty well balance, and more importantly, the integrity of the prop was not compromised. So my thoughts are that I like them. Dow has definitely gotten my attention again. There's a lot of good design coming into these and a lot of good thoughts and they're playing out in practicality very good. Um, having the consistent throttle response is super important, uh, especially for, for a pilot like myself that's always playing throughout the complete throttle band. And so, so honestly, the only thing that, that's in this design that I don't like is this winglet here. It's not even a winglet anymore, it's more just a point because it's the first thing that'll get broken off and I know that a lot of people are gonna look at that and say, well, Josh, it's really not 
you know, a whole lot in regards to weight, but it doesn't take much, especially in these high KV applications, to go ahead and throw your weight off. So, with that said, it didn't really affect my flying the other day. So there you have it. If you guys are interested in getting up to date with Dow Prop and seeing what their newer offerings have, seeing the direction that they're going in regards to prop design and how that plays with your flying, I would it would be hard pressed to say that it's wasted time and money. Go ahead and get you some sets. See what it's all about. Remember to fly safe, be smart, and happy crashing. Yeah, the motors aren't anywhere near as hot. Oh, the antenna got a little squished. What are you trying to say? I don't know how to fly? No. Oh, here's <laughs> That's the bent prop right Ah. Uh, make sure she's tight. That thing is done. I'm not fixing that one. Just bend them Twisted. back for a little bit. See, it's part of the feedback, though. Where it's bent, kind of in. Yeah. Is that where it was making that noise? Are the props still tight? You might want to check. This one's... This one's actually twisted weird. What's that noise? You hear that? Uh, you hear that? make some weird noises. You hear that? No. You, hey, you hear that? What's oh, the motor? Yeah, yeah that's the motor. motor. Magnets loose. Something. Magnets loose? Damn, that escalated oh. quickly. Hey, you hear that? Bearing. Actually, hold on. Maybe I should put something in there. That's weird. Oh, I'm missing a screw. Or no, did I only put two in this one? You know what? I might have only put two in these. <laughs> That's weird. It sounds like a piece of wire like from the stator. No, you would know it if. Yeah. The bearings make that sound, but it'll be here. Set it down on the ground. Well, that's the props. Oh. Because they're all fucked up after flying into the... Uh.